So this is a cable pass clamp I made. It's got a little wheel in the middle that spins around. It's connected on either side, bearings that hold it in place so it can't escape. And you can connect whatever you want to those bearings. You can connect a shaft to it, uh, which would make it a shaft pass where you've got a shaft so it can spin around along the axis through the connecting pieces. And then uh, you can also pass another shaft through it by lining it up with one of the little notches in the wheel. And then as you run the shaft up or down, the uh, the wheel turns and allows things to pass through it. The first place that I know of that these were actually used was in World War II where the Germans had them on a string kind of like this and that string was connected to the seafloor on one end and to a marine mine on the other end and then when the minesweeper came by with the big long cable dragging it laterally it would slide up the cable, uh, hit the cable pass and then it would run through the wheel and out the other side and then the mines would remain un exploded so that they could explode chips. But it turns out that barnacles like to grow on stuff in the ocean and uh, they never really worked that well. So you can also use this on a necklace for things like adding or removing uh, rings or bangles or clasps or whatever. You can also use it as a clasp by passing a loop through the one of the holes in the side and then around through the uh, wheel section and then that'll allow you to basically loop it back on itself without unclasping it so to speak. And then you could also hook it to other things if you wanted to. It's just kind of a neat little device. So this one's pretty small. It's kind of too small to be useful, really. But I made it as a proof of concept to make sure that I could actually fabricate the thing. And turns out you can. You can just 3D print them. So yeah, the cable pass.